But not all those documenting the drama were shouted down. Some were treated as heroes. Harvey is Harvey Yemeni, social media provocateur and Australian mouthpiece of Rebel News, the Canadian-based far-right media outfit, which has provided a platform to Mark Latham and UK anti-Islam rabble-rouser Tommy Robinson. Rebel's been railing against vaccine passports and mandates, and on the streets of Melbourne, Yemeni was widely welcomed. Rebel News for the working class. You can get one of these at rebelstore.com. But let's stand up as a nation. This is bullshit what's going on, and don't be tricked by the media, by the lies and the deceit. Yemeni was happy to stoke the anti-mainstream media sentiment, and plenty of people were watching. He racked up more than 700,000 views on one Facebook streaming clip, and this man was even more popular. Hey guys, Rukshan here. The two reps uh, representing the protesters have gone up so inside the building with uh, John Setka and other reunion reps. Rukshan Fernando, who has a wedding videography business, is a self-described independent journalist with a growing fan base on social media. He live-streamed the protests for hours each day. One video clocked 2.2 million views. And his followers reportedly grew by 100,000 in just three days. And there were plenty of fans in the crowd. Okay. Good to see the real media here. And it's not just the Australian right-wing ecosystem that Fernando was feeding. Last week, he hit prime time in America. Uh, here now is the man who shot that footage, independent journalist Rukshan Fernando. Rukshan, uh, what's happened to Australia? And Fox's Laura Ingram, who has stoked anti-lockdown sentiment throughout the pandemic, was suitably concerned. It, it looked more like something at Tiananmen Square than you'd expect from Australia. That's right, Laura. I mean, look, these are just everyday Australians, everyday Victorians. Many protesters are ordinary Victorians, concerned about their right to work. Others are zealots with a grab bag of causes, amplified on social media by the likes of Yemeni and Fernando. As Dr Josh Roos, a researcher in far-right movements, told The Age, Fernando is no passive witness. He films the spectacular and seeks to bring in sympathy for protesters in the middle of a pandemic that not only are a health risk, but have a record of being violent towards the police. In that sense, he's building their narrative. Fernando told The Age that while he's disillusioned by the state government, he doesn't necessarily endorse the views of the protesters. But he's giving a platform to them without context or balance. An independent journalist, he is not.